Hi, welcome to the Pure and Clean podcast. This is episode number 15, and today we're going to talk about how to plan a fleet operation. Hey everybody, Rommel here. So today we're going to talk about uh, an article by Wolf Larson from INN about how to plan um, a fleet operation. I believe the original title was Space Ops Strategy Laying Plans. Um, so, so in that great article, he outlines the basics of how to plan a mission. And you can tell that this is based on the American military part of, uh, you know, in, in the Amel American military uh, planning. But, uh, you know, I think all organizations can benefit from planning missions. So let's, let's talk about some of the mission planning and how you would go about planning a fleet operation in Star Citizen. Okay, so the mission plan. A good plan will compose itself of the following steps. Uh, and these are mission description, available resources, phases of the plan, definition of the area of operation, environmental factors, probable oppos opposition forces, order of march, and communication details. So let's talk about each of those in detail. Okay, so mission description. Mission description is the goal, background, timing, and scope of a mission. So for example, a mission description could be the purpose of this mission is to extract 350,000 kilograms of hydrogen gas from Corel 5 in the Corel system. If undisturbed, we are to collect as much hydrogen gas as possible before returning. Combat and collateral damage should be avoided, avoided at all costs. Available resources. Available resources concerns itself with the aggregate number of assets or resources that you have at your disposal for this mission. So for example, in the mission that, example that we're giving, uh, we could say something like, for this mission, we will have one Starfarer, one Hold C, six Hornet ex Escorts, and one Herald. Phases of the plan. Phases of the plan are the distinct stages in the mission and the contingencies and how you should react to those. So for example, Phase 1, transit to the Corel system. Form up at base and travel to the Nemo Corel jump point. After jump, fly to Corel 5. Phase 2, mining operations. Escort group will establish a defense perimeter while Starfarer scoops up hydrogen and loads it into the whole sea. Phase 3, transit back to Nemo system. Form up and travel back to base via Corel Nemo jump point. Phase 4, unloading of cargo. Assist in the unloading of the cargo. Contingencies. If we enc encounter overwhelming hostile forces, we are to retreat back to base in the Nemo system. So as you can see, the phases are not super detailed. They're just overall stages of the mission and how we should react. So always keep in mind that you just want the overall stage, not the minutia of how to do each particular stage. Definition of the area of operations. This is where the mission takes place. So for example, this mission spans the transit from Nemo to Corel and back. Environmental factors. Circumstances affecting the mission. So for example, this mission takes place in UEE protected space near the border with Banu space and, un and undeveloped systems. As a result, there is good chance we may encounter Banu or pirate activity. We are to avoid contact with either group. Probable opposition forces. Probable opposition forces concerns itself with the persons or groups that could prevent mission success. So, for example, recent UEE reports have indicated some pirate presence in the area, mostly from small, disorganized roving groups of less than six ships. If we encounter such groups, we should avoid them as they can cause serious damage to pure and clean assets. Order of March. So, a difference between a well-organized 
uh, mission and just a random encounter is that you will have a an order in which the ships and crew will fly during the mission and this provides you with a framework by which to um, organize the mission so that everybody knows where everybody is at all times and uh, if somebody moves out of position then you know that something's wrong so an example order of march will be Captain Lisa will be in front scouting ahead of the group in her herald. Captain Satan and two other hornets will be leading the main group with the starfare and Hul C in the middle and the three remaining hornets in the back. Communication details. How are we going to communicate during this mission? So for example, comms. All members of the mission, please use the Discord voice channel hashtag fleet ops to communicate. To request support, please use the Discord voice channel hashtag general. That's it. So hopefully you've learned how to plan a uh, fleet operation in Star Citizen. Um, this is more or less how the Pure and Clean company will plan its operations. And um, I hope that you guys have something similar in, in mind in your organizations. Um, I want to thank Wolf Larson for, from INN for writing that article. If you want to check out the original article, it's in the description. Um, as always, I'm looking forward to your comments and suggestions. The Pure, the Pure and Clean podcast is a free Star Citizen podcast aimed at tackling the business side of the verse. It is available every Monday. If you are looking for a business-oriented organization, please do check us out at pureandclean.com. Operational readiness is the, the capability of a ship, unit, or organization to perform the missions or functions for which it has been organized or designed.